What's up, Pokemon community? Trader Josh here. We are back for another opening. So, today, we are going to be opening pre-release kits for Evolving Skies. I have two of these. Um, so, these are the Build and Battle uh, kits that you can get. Uh, typically, these get released like two weeks before a new set comes out. And what they used to do before COVID is um, they, a lot of game stores would have little tournaments. You could uh, pay like 25 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever it was. Um, and they would um, give you one of these kits. You open up the packs and you build a deck out of it. And then you have a little tournament with everybody there. And the winner would get more packs. It was super, super cool. Uh, unfortunately, they're not doing that. So I just got these two build and battle kits. But we're also going to be opening up two of the um, Ice Rider Calyrex V-Boxes. And I'm actually pretty excited about these because I actually really like this promo card. I think it's a little bit better than the, the regular Calyrex V, Ice Rider Calyrex V, and I love that deck. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to open up these boxes first, and then we're going to save the Evolving Skies for last because there's so much hype around this set because there is an alternate art Rayquaza V and V Max, and there's also alternate art of all the Evolutions. So, yeah, everybody's like... Everybody's just so anxious for this set right now. All right, here's the Calyrex V box. Let's tear, I actually don't even know what packs come with this, but let's go ahead and get into this. Yeah. All right, I think, I would assume it comes with at least two, probably actually probably at most two Chilling Rain packs, because it only comes with four total. And Chilling Rain is the most recent set that is currently available, if you don't include Evolving Skies, pre-release stuff. All right, so let me take this guy. Oh, got him. Got him, coach. All right. So here is this. It's actually a beautiful card. I really do. I actually like the artwork on this one better than the other one as well. Um, now, there is the alternate art uh, of this card, which, of course, is, like, the most beautiful. But I think that the move set on this is actually much better. Uh, let me move this back so you can see the... Uh, boom, look at that jumbo card right there. Very cool. That'll go on my jumbo card collection. All right, so what do we have as far as packs here? So it looks like, yeah, we got two Chilling Rain, one Rebel Clash, and a Darkness Ablaze. Uh, so that's pretty cool, actually, because there's, um, there's still a lot of good cards in both of those sets. Uh, full Art Boss's Orders, believe it or not, I still have not pulled that card. Um, I, I pulled the Secret Rare a couple times, but I never actually pulled the Full Art. And, and then for Darkness of Blaze, of course, that Charizard VMAX, which I pulled, like, four of, I think. Yeah, I pulled four of those. But it's still a great card, so... Or at least it's a valuable card. Alright, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open up this other box real fast. Um, I did already show the promos, so there you go again. I'll set this aside right here. And then, we'll stack the packs. And we will get into it. And then we'll, uh... Like I said, we're going to save the um, the Evolving Skies packs for last. All right, cool. There we go. So, Rebel Clash. So we got two Rebel Clash, two Darkest Blaze, four Chilling Rain. And there's still so many Chilling Rain cards that I want to pull. Like, tons of alternate arts. Man, Pokemon is just, like, really stepping up their game with all the alternate arts. Bam, code. There's just a ton of them now. Like... Remember when um, when it was Cosmic Eclipse came out? I think there was only, I think, if I recall, oh no, there was one for each of them, wasn't there? Yeah, you're right. There was one for each of the tag teams in that one. I was gonna say, <laughs> I was gonna say, I think it's just the ADP, which we did pull, which was amazing. Uh, fire. But no, there was there was like the Blastoise and Piplup and um, and all those. It was it was great. All right, so uh, Luxio, Dracloak, Tranquil. Uh, Bunnelby, Phantom, Dreepy, Glaring Farfetch'd, Hone Edge, Reverse Hollow Time Pole, and a non hollow Owl Creamy. Uh, I think there's actually a, a few gold cards that I haven't pulled from Rebel, Rebel Clash as well. If I recall, the Orangaroo is is uh, in this set. I don't know, it's actually been a while since they've opened up Rebel Clash. But uh, I never did pull that card either, so it'd be alright if I got that today. One, two, three in the front. Uh, let's say Psychic. All right. Cool, cool. So, starting out with a Cursed Shovel. Phalanx, Palpitoad, Dreepy, Magmar, uh, Glaring Yamask, Surskit, Stuffle, 
reverse hollow hat rim, and a non hollow glaring purse circuit on the end. Um, so I'm really excited to get into those Evolving Skies uh, pre release kits. Uh, from what I've seen so far, I think the pull rates are kind of bad. And oh, code's backwards in this one. So it's a green code, but that's okay. One, two, three, four. But yeah, so far from what I've seen, the pull rates are like not very good in the pre release kits. Uh, let's see, uh, grass. Okay, <clears throat> but uh, yeah, maybe we can maybe we can change that around today. Maybe we'll have the opposite luck. And just get like busted pulls in like every single pack. Be crazy. You never know though, because there are like some pretty stacked boxes out there. It's just that overall, the pull rates has been kind of trash. But I don't know. I guess we're gonna have to just find out. Okay, so the code is gonna be backwards in this one. I'll try not to spoil it. Uh, code, there we go. It's upside down, so there you go. All right, and then one, two, three in the front. Uh, fighting, okay. Cool, cool, cool. So here we go, starting out with a Cape of Toughness, Spike Myth, Parasect, Pansier, Dino, Q font, wishy washy, moral, reverse hollow trap hinge, non hollow male metal on the end. Alright, 0 for 4 so far. But, I don't know, Chilling Rain is like, like I said, there's still so many cards I want out of this set, so this is the um, this is the set that I really hope we can at least get something. Like, just give me one, like, really good pull. I'll be happy. Uh, fire. Okay. Dude, it's been like pure metal and water so far. It's wild. Alright, starting out with a Hat Rim, Flappy, Kakuna, Diglett, Larvesta, Inke, Rockruff, Ghastly, Reverse Hall Agatha, Non Hollow, then Goose on the end. Alright, oh, and then of course there's a ton of full art trainers that I still have yet to pull. Uh, I like live for full art trainers, so if we can get a full art trainer today, I will be ecstatic. Code. One, two, three, to the front. Um, let's go dark. All right. Finally, something other than water and uh, metal, though. That's good. Starting out with a lucky energy. Uh, chest plate, Flaffy, Squovet, Scorbunny, Diglett, Golette, Deerling, Reverse Hall Furfu, and a Hollow Tapu Fini. All right, well, it's uh, at least at least it's not a non-hollow, right? So technically, that's we're we're. Improving a little bit better going uphill. Okay, or no, we're going downhill. It's all downhill from here. That's that's the same Okay, one two three the front uh, Let's go grass. Okay All right starting out with a brawly Whirlipede, Thwacky, Hatena, Sobble, Bound Sweet, Furfu, uh, Diglett, Reverse Hall Flannery, and a non-hollow Spiritomb on the end all right, and now we have one chilling rain pack left. So we haven't gotten a single ultra rare pull yet. Oh man, come on, give me something today, please. Code one, two, three of the fronts. Uh, let's say electric. Hey, we finally got to guess the energy game, so at least there's that. All right, starting out with a hunter, doctor, Celio. Aeron, Ralts, Venipede, Bound Sweet, Lapras, Reverse Hollow Ralts. Hey, all right, we got something. That's cool. Metagross VMAX. I'll take that. It's like my fifth one, but that's okay. I'm just going to set that back there. It's technically a pull, so I'll take it. It's an ultra rare. All right, now. It's time. It's time to get into Evolving Skies. All right, so I... I think I want, I don't know, do I want the Flaffy? I actually want all of them, honestly. I'll be happy with any of them, we, any of the uh, pre-release stamped promos that we get. Because uh, there's the three Galarian Birds. I can't get this open. Yeah, there's the three Galarian Birds, um, and then there's the Flaffy. Now, Flaffy is like going to be really good um, for like electric decks, but I don't know, I've never really been super into electric decks, so... I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel about that. Although, I wonder I wonder if it can actually accelerate to Dragon Pokemon as well. Maybe. I don't know. I'll have, if we get one, we'll have to see. Alright, so, let's find out what the first one we get is. Alright, cool. We got a Galarian Articuno. I'm happy with that. 
That's actually really cool. Sweet. What does that ability do? When you place Pokemon from your hand onto the bench during your turn, you may attach two Psychic Energy uh, cards from your hand to this Pokemon. All right. And then Psy Laser, discard all Psychic Energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 120 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Okay. Well, that's not terrible, I suppose. Um, hmm. Interesting. So uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and just open this up so we can see like what comes with uh, with the uh, Articuno um, pack here, I guess. All right, let's see here. First of all, look at that. That's really gorgeous. It's actually a beautiful card. I don't know how playable it's gonna be. I mean, it's like a decent, decently playable because it's, it's it's you can only attach the energy to this Pokemon. If you could attach the energy to any Pokemon, that would just be like busted. But I don't know, we'll see. Oh, there's a full art copycat in this set. Oh, I want that card so bad. Evolution Innocence, Poke Kid, Kareem's Focus, Fletchling, 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 Fletchender, Fletchender, Talonflame, Talonflame, Quick Balls, cool. Evolution Innocence, Zinnia's Resolve, all right. Poke Kid, Research, Zorua, 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 Zorark, and a Zorark. Oh, three Zorarks, all right, cool. Not bad, that's pretty decent. Alright, now, question is, do we open the other box and look at the pre-release uh, stamped card for that one, and then get into the packs, or do we open the packs first? We'll open the packs first, because I want to compare which, uh, which box is better. Alright, I'm going to set this aside, it's a nice little deck box. Alright, oh man, I am so excited for this. Let's just dive right in. Uh, I actually have seen some videos that like the, um, where like, I guess you can get like white codes and get non-hollow rares. So I don't know if they went back to uh, the color of the code cards not actually meaning anything, or if that was just like, like a one-time thing. One, two, three, like errors or something. I don't know. Okay, so uh, let's say fire. All right. Here we go, Evolving Skies. Give us something good. All right, Fletchender. Uh, Lantern, I'm gonna go through these a little bit slower just because I have not seen most of these cards yet. Like, or I haven't really like paid full attention to them. Spirit Mask. If the Pokemon this card is attached to is an active spot damaged by an attack from your opponent's Pokemon, your opponent discards a card from their hand. Okay, eh. Uh, Love Disc, Fletchling, Chinchu, Petalil, <laughs> interesting. Dino. Oh, one thing I really love is that they brought the dragon types back, but they always also have these like little claw marks next to the dragon symbol. That's super cool, man. Very, very, very cool. All right, uh, Reggie Drago, Reverse Hollow, not bad. And then a Hollow Galarian Zapdos. All right, cool. I will take that. What does that actually even do? Uh, ability: Strong Legs Charge. When you place Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, attach up to two Fighting Energy cards from your hand to this Pokemon. Okay, so it's kind of the same thing as Articuno, but for fighting. And it does 70 for three. You may discard all energy from this Pokemon. If you do, your Pokemon, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. Okay, paralysis. That's not terrible. But I don't know how how playable that was going to be because it's only 70 damage and it's three energy costs. It's like ugh, kind of expensive. But all right, here we go. One, two, three of the front. Psychic. Okay. See what we can get. So we have an ice cube. All right. Full face guard. If the Pokemon this card is attached to has no abilities, takes 20 less damage from attacks. Okay. Decent. Hop hip. Uh, Hitmonchan. Fletchling. Tentacool. Scrafty. That is our reverse hollow. Let's go! Oh my gosh, we actually did get a secret rare trainer. Oh, cool. A secret rare Gordy. Dang, that is gorgeous. All right, look at the top seven cards of your deck. You may reveal any number of energy cards you find there and put them into your hand. Okay, that's not terrible. And then you shuffle the rest of the cards back into your deck. All right, that's that's actually decent. I will take that. All right, so we can't say that we didn't get anything out of these uh, pre-release kits now. We've got a secret rare trainer. That's awesome. All right, on to the next pack. Let's go, Sylveon pack card. Pretty cool. Man, the evolutions, evolutions, the evolutions in this set are just oh, 
They are just absolutely beautiful. One, two, three at the front. I think everybody's favorite favorite is probably the Umbreon. It's it's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, let's go metal. Okay. Let's see if we can get some more pulls here. Starting out with the Lombre, full face guard, uh, Hypno, Bergamite, Carvana, Emolga, Slackoth, just like hanging on the edge there. Wish you was to back bum that ledge, my friend. Alright. Uh, Gossifleur, Reverse Hollow Ice Q, and our rare, Non Hollow Appleton. Alright, not bad, not bad. Could have been worse. Alright, here we go. So, Umbreon pack. Give me something here. Speak it into existence. Give me the Rayquaza VMAX alternate art. It's gonna happen now. Alright, uh, let's go Psychic. Okay. Digging gloves. What's up with these, all these gloves, man? I don't know. I don't know how I feel about all these these different kind of gloves that they've been putting in the last couple sets. They're not like, they're just not that great. Uh, Stormy Mountains. Once during each player's turn, that player may search uh, their deck for a basic electric or basic dragon Pokemon, put it under their bench, then that player shuffles their deck. Okay, that's pretty good. Um, there is a gold uh, stadium. It's like crystal crystal cave or something like that, which I am just like dying to pull because that card is beautiful. Teddy Ursa. Oh, that's adorable. Look at all the little flowers in the background. That's actually a really cute card. I uh, dig it. All right, Reverse Hollow Gordy. Cool. And, hey, all right, cool. Hollow Zoroark. Uh, Zoroark. Zoroark. All right. That's hard to say. Not bad. All right, so we actually got two hollows and a Secret Rare Trainer out of that box. Not bad at all. All right. On to the last box here. Uh, so I think I'm going to try and order at least one booster box of the set. I don't know. I I just want to go ham with this set. Honestly, it's just uh, there's so many great and beautiful cards that I really, really, really want to pull. So yeah, I'll probably um, probably be going pretty crazy with the set. All right, here we go. What do we got? Oh, hey, we got a Flaffy. All right, that's pretty cool. I think this is gonna be the uh, one that's like the most sought after, just you know, because of the ability. So uh, once during your turn, you may attach an electric energy uh, card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. Okay, so it's not just to electric Pokemon. Yeah, so that's going to be pretty good then, I think. All right. That is awesome. Oh, I should probably open it up and go through it, too. That way we can kind of see what comes in this um, little pre-release pack. All right. That's super cool, man. Absolutely gorgeous. Stormy Mountains, Sonya, Xenia's Resolve. What does that even do? I haven't even read it yet. You can play this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Draw a card for each of your opponent's Pokemon in play. That's, that's not bad, I guess. Although you have to discard two cards. Oh, okay. That might be okay. Professor, professor's, professor's Research. Emolga. Uh, Regilecki. I have actually not even seen this yet. Uh, what does this do? 120 for 3. Discard all electric energy from this Pokemon. Also does 40 to 2 of your opponent's bench. Okay, so a little bit of a spread there. Uh, only thing is you have to discard all the energy, but that's where Flaffy comes in. Oh, sweet. We got Mareeps, which means we probably got Flaffy line here. Yes, let's go. So, it gives us two Flaffies. Alright, so we have three total. Not bad. Quick Ball. It's always good to get Quick Balls. Zinnia's Resolve. Poke Kid. You know, I just... I don't know. <laughs> Pokekid's just, like, not that great, in my opinion. That's just me. And then we got the Zoroa lines again. All right. Three Zoroarks. Cool. All right. That's, that's actually really awesome. I, I'm, I'm very happy with that uh, that stamp, stamped card. All right. And now here we go. The last four packs. All right. Last chance to pull an alternate art before, before the set actually comes out. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'll try and find more pre-release kits and open them. I was really hoping that I could find a pre-release tournament uh, going on, but unfortunately, I just wasn't able to to do that. Um, for, th for those of you that don't know, uh, when pr when new sets come out like this, uh, oh, fire. 
when new sets come out like this, back before COVID, they used to uh, a lot of game stores would hold pre-release events, um, like little tournaments and stuff. You pay your little entry fee, and it was, it was like thirty bucks, um, roughly, depending on where you go. They give you one of these boxes, and then they give you three extra packs, and then. You build a little 40 card deck out of whatever you get out of those packs, and then you have a little tournament with everybody else is there. And then usually they would give like the top three spots like extra packs from the set. Super, super fun. I really miss those uh, those tournaments. Uh, so what do we got? Moon and Sun Badge. With the Pokemon V, this card is attached to has Espion and on his name. Yeah, whenever your opponent plays a supporter card from their hand, prevent all effects of that card done to that Pokemon. Okay, so you can't boss up like an Umbreon or Espion if that's attached to it. Um, and it's on the bench. Cool. Uh, Eevee. Cutie Fly. Pikachu. Reverse Hall Switching Cups. What does that do? Switch a card uh, from your hand with the top card of your deck. So it's basically like Orangaroo's ability, but just in a, a train an item card. Cool. And then a non hollow Flapple on the end. Alright. Here we go. One, two, three of the front. Uh, what have we not said? Water. Go water. Ah, uh, it was fire. My favorite type. Okay. Uh, Skip Loom. That's actually a really cute artwork as well. Is that? What is that? Is that a? Oh, it's a stick. It's a twig. I was like, is that a Rayquaza flying in the back? But no, it's just like a twig flying around in the back. Okay. Elemental badge. What is that? Uh, the Pokemon V this card's attached to is Vaporeon, Jolteon, or Flareon in its name. Its attack is one less. Okay, one colorless less. That's not bad, actually. That's pretty cool. Bit Leo, uh, oops, lower that. Lotad, Tadiursa, Cryogonal, okay. Uh, what is, is this, another item lock one? Look at the top six cards of your deck and attach any number of basic energy cards uh, you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. That's not terrible, actually. Uh, Nicket, Reverse Hollow Crustle on the end. Hey, all right, cool. We got a Golurk V. I will take that. It's technically an ultra rare, so not bad. Not bad. Two more packs left. All right, come on. <sighs> give me, give me an alt art, or like a full art trainer, or something, or any of the evolutions. I'll be happy with that too. Uh, Psychic. Hey, and we got another guest in the game. Sweet. All right. So, starting out with a Lantern, Treasure Energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides a colorless energy. Um, if you took a face-down prize card during your turn before you put it into your hand, you may attach this card to one of your Pokemon. Oh, interesting. That's a really interesting card. Okay, cool. Uh, digging Gloves. Bergmite. Drowsy. Scraggy. Bagong. Woobat, a reverse hollow Nicket, and on the end, non hollow Talon Flame. Okay. We are down to the last pack, so we need some last pack magic here. Come on. It's all up to you, Umbreon. Make this pre release kit better than the last one. Not that the last one was terrible. We did get a secret rare trainer, which is always a good thing. But, uh, yeah, come on. Something else. Fire. Okay. Starting out with a Braviary, Nuzleaf, Ice Q, Tentacle, uh, Pikachu, C Dot, Lillipup, oops, Baggin, uh, Baggins is uh, Reverse Hall Ampharos, and our final rare, a non hollow Milotic. That's not bad though. Overall, I'm actually really happy. We got, um, got a handful of decent trainers and uh, cool energy. And then we got a Golurk V and a Secret Rare Gordy. So I will take that all day. Anyways, uh, that's going to be it for me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Do me a favor. Smash that like button. Share this video with your friends. Uh, comment in the comment section down below. Also, let me know uh, how, got, how have your polls been out of these pre-release kits, if you've been able to get any. Because, I don't know, I've, I've seen a lot of really, really, really crappy boxes. So I'm actually really curious if, like, if the Polar H is just bad overall or what. So let me know. Uh, but anyways, uh, thanks again, and don't forget, the only way down Victory Road is to train hard and stay humble. See you in the next video.